Welcome to the last week of the capstone class. I realize everyone worked very hard this summer semester, being that it's accelerated, it's only 10 weeks. So, you know, keep up the good work, push all the way to the very end. Let's go ahead and now do a brief overview of the assignments for this week. Obviously, you should be reviewing the chapters one through 10. When it comes to the actual assignments, you have to submit your decisions for year 14 by August 10th. And the reason being is, Everyone has to complete the annual report and really in, in the final presentation without that information like who who won the simulation, where you placed, it's hard to compose all of that. So that's why you have to submit your decisions by August 10th. With the annual report, this is way more detailed than the module reports. So make sure you're putting in the effort. It's, it's not just gonna be a couple pages. It's gonna be way more than that. I've seen it anywhere from 20 to 40 pages. It depends on the group. Uh, but, you know, make sure you're not just submitting a two-page annual report and calling a day. Obviously, you will not receive a good grade for that. Last but not least, make sure you're scheduling a time to present to me the, the outcome of the semester when it comes to the simulation for your team. I'll be flexible as much as I can for the presentations. Uh, you know, with that said, you know, please don't wait till the last second uh, to contact me to schedule your presentation. You should have that scheduled prior to the tenth, meaning that, you know, not that you have to complete it by the tenth, but that it's at least scheduled with me, and you're going to complete it by, uh, you know, the end of the day on the fourteenth. Um, you know, and, and you can complete it any time this week as long as it's before the end of the day on the 14th. So if you have any questions, make sure you reach out to me. So let's go ahead and jump into the Globus results. Okay, here's the year 13 scoreboard. The one company that only really I'm surprised about is company B because company B came out, you know, really strong and, and they've been dropping ever since. So uh, I'll be very interesting, interested, I'll be very interested to hear their presentation to find out what what happened, uh, because you know Team A they, they've been solid. They dropped three points, but they're they're still doing great. Team D, who I was very hard on at the beginning, gained five points, and now they're sitting in second place at ninety. Team C has always been solid, gained eight points, eighty nine, um, and like I said, Team B, you know I I don't want to say major concern because once we drop down to the game to date scoreboard, as you can see, Team A's at one hundred nine, Team B's at eighty nine, so. They're tied for a second with Team C, and Team D is at 88 now. So, you know, the two teams that really stand out in my mind is Team A, because pretty much ran away with it, and Team D, who made a huge move after getting a, a rough start. Now, I'm, you know, I'm not taking away anything with Team C, because you've been solid all semester. But, you know, that's just what stands out. Um, now, I believe... Team A probably will win the simulation because there's only one year left, year 14. It's going to be hard for anyone to make up, you know, that, you know, 20 points for the overall game to date. Uh, now, with that said, it's going to be very interesting to see who comes in second. So, really, the race is for second for B, C, and D. D, if you come in second for overall game to date scoreboard, I applaud you because I, I thought there was no hope for you. Uh, so you, to me, that really shows that you have extreme amount of fight within you. Uh, so uh, you know, I, I'd be proud of you if, if you can pull off second. Now, I'm sure B and C is not just going to give you second, so that's what would make it even more impressive. Um, so, but all in all, you know, it's been a good, good semester when it comes to the simulation. Uh, you know, Team A took the ball and ran with it, and hey, congrats to them. But like I've always said, you know, you could have a company and be, quote, in second place running the company and still make a lot of money. So, uh, you know, no disrespect for Team B, C, and D. Uh, like I said, my only question mark was B, but, you know, in theory, they're still in second place for game to date. So, congrats, everyone. So, keep it up. I'm excited to see which team wins the simulation. And, obviously, you know, to hear the outcome when it comes to the presentations of, you know, what your overall strategy was, what you thought that worked, what didn't work so on and so forth. That's all I have for today. Have a great weekend. Obviously, I'll be seeing you soon. Take care, everyone.